All right, so today we are going to fake the sense of speed in Blender and the way we're going to do it is actually only by using a UV sphere. I'm going to get started straight away. You might be tempted to think that we are going to animate this iPhone, but actually it's going to be standing still the entire time. So if I'm going to click on one or control one in this case, I will press on control alt zero to place our camera. And uh, maybe I will bring this upwards just a little bit, RXX and make sure that it's rotated downwards. We can zoom it in a little bit. Uh, maybe something like this uh, should do the trick. So what I'm going to do is simply bring in a mesh UV sphere. And we've got a UV sphere right here. I'm going to scale it up quite a bit and shade it smooth. Now I'm going to open up the shader editor right over here, shader editor. I will turn on this mode so we can actually see what we're doing. I'm also going to set it to cycles. Now we're going to click on new and we've got a new texture right here. Control T to make sure that we have an image texture that we can plug in. Uh, I'm going to select evening meadow. And as you can see already, we've got a pretty clear blue sky going on over there. And we're going to want to mix those two together so we get only sky. That's the trick. So I'm going to select this one, duplicate it, control T, give it a new mapping node. And then I will select this one. And I'm actually just going to rotate it on whatever axis will work for us. Uh, it should probably be the X rotation because I can now see the sky. And basically all we have to do is select both of these, control zero, I'm going to mix them together basically. And this is what it looks like. So if it's only this one, or only that one, but now we have something in the middle. And of course you can see those trees uh, coming through a little bit. And it's not really going to matter because, because it's going to move so fast that you won't even notice, especially with the motion blur on. If you do want to get rid of this though, what you could do is maybe, let's go over here, gradient control T, Let's see what our gradient look like. Should probably be, be rotated on the Y axis. Color ramp for this, bring it in there, black. And then you can remove a part of this. So let's select uh, the factor for this. Let's have a look at this. Set it to mix and now play around with the color ramp until all of these bushes have disappeared. And all we get is the sky. Now we might not be able to get this part. Uh, we would probably have to mix it with another gradient again, but I'm not going to bother with it. I think this is fine for what we are trying to do. So basically I'm going to click on the camera and inside of here, you can already see that it is pretty dark. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm heading over to the asset browser and I will bring in the three point lighting system. I'm going to select this one. I'm just going to drag it on here. And basically it's just a lighting setup that's attached to an empty. And if I rotate this empty right over here, so let's select it, uh, the lighting will move around the iPhone. And this is exactly what we want. Uh, so I'm going into the timeline right now. I'm going to frame one and I will set a keyframe on this. Then I will go to frame, let's say 80, R and X, and I will rotate this around for maybe three or four times. Press I and I will set this to linear as well. T, linear. So now it's rotating around the iPhone and that's giving us some lighting changes as the iPhone is moving forward. Of course, we need to do approximately the same thing for our UV sphere. Uh, so first of all, let's add in a hue saturation and value on the UV sphere. Uh, you can play around with the saturation and stuff like that or the value if you think it's a bit too bright. Uh, all of those can be worked with. So something like this should probably look pretty cool. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a empty and I will make it a a cube, let's make it a cube, let's scale this up. Uh, let's select the sphere first, then the cube, control P, object, keep transform. And now if you rotate the cube around, the sphere will move around as well. I'm going to press I right over here, go to frame 80, R, X, and maybe we're going to just rotate it in however many fashions we would like. Uh, something like this should probably do the trick. Let's select both of these keyframes, T, and linear. Let's make sure it's all linear. And there we have a spinning ball. How cool is that? So let's set this through frame 80. And now you can see it's quite chaotic, but stuff is moving around. Now, of course, we've got this little piece uh, right there. So if you go into the Delta transform under object properties, we can also change the Z rotation. So that one's completely out of sight right over there. So now it looks like this already very cool. And uh, this is basically the entire idea of the shot. If we now render this out with enough motion blur. So let's go over here to the motion blur and take it on. 0.1 on the noise thresholds, what I'm going to try first. Uh, so let's render this out at a very specific frame, maybe like over here, render image, and everything is going to be stretched out because of the motion blur, and this will give a sense of speed. So I hope you enjoyed this video. We are going to add some more effects to this later on in this free course. Uh, we're going to make sure that the camera is moving like this, so it seems there's more power and energy in this movement. Uh, but we're not going to do that in this tutorial. It's going to be in the final two videos where we're going to edit everything together that we've made in the course. If you enjoyed this video, click on subscribe. And if you want to become an undeniable force in the 3D space, then I highly recommend watching this video next. I get the money and it's right on cue.
Get the duffel bag up inside my coop. Hold a couple racks, tell them I love you. You wanna be a boss, do it like I do. Uh.